Good afternoon and welcome back to Ask Alan about low carb cocktails. Today I'm going to show uh, the difference in making a gold rush, which I've talked about on another video, but uh, this time I wanted to um, one, use some uh, honey that I got from a neighbor, and two, talk about a substitute. Join me as we discuss the differences and uh, taste profiles on this episode of Ask Alan about low carb cocktails. Hello and welcome to Ask Alan about low carb cocktails. In the past, I did a video that showcased, uh, I think that that was uh, the uh, old fashioned derivatives. And I, I talked about a drink called a gold rush. Um, I think my memory doesn't always serve me correctly, but um, so I think that I already went over this drink in the past. But this time uh, I have some honey that I got from Schmidt House, which is just a neighbor. He, uh, uh, he and his wife uh, started uh, doing, uh, raising bees several years ago, and they make, they make some pretty good honey. So uh, when we get honey, we get it from them. Um, right now, this stuff is really good. It's local honey. And if you're gonna have honey, definitely use local honey. But honey is very high in carbs. So um, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about this alternative and make something that I think that you'll all enjoy. So as we make this drink, I wanted to do another thing, and that was uh, just taste the difference between using a lower proof uh, Buffalo Trace, it's I think 86 proof, um, and uh, Buffalo Trace, uh, a lot of people will uh, say that it has more of a sweet taste to it. So we'll try that, and then we'll try something that I uh, usually uh, keep around uh, around the house, and that is this Old Forester uh, 100 proof. This is something that has a decent taste, and it's it's a low cost um, version. So uh, assuming you can find this, you'll usually find it uh, in the 20, lower twenty dollar range to mid twenty dollar range. Um, so this is a, a, a good thing to have around. Uh, again, the Buffalo Trace, a lot of places you can't find it, and as soon as it hits the shelf, people buy it up. Uh, it's a good uh, good whiskey, it's a good uh, mixer. So we'll try both, and then we'll um, see which one of those tastes the best with the regular honey syrup, and then we'll try a version with the uh, honey syrup substitute. So, honey has in one tablespoon 17 to 17.4 grams of carbs. That's a fairly high amount. Uh, in this recipe, it's three quarters ounce of honey syrup. Honey syrup is half, half honey, half water, and you heat that up uh, to get it to, this, to combine, and, uh, and then, then you have your honey syrup. Most people like to do a two to one honey syrup, but I keep it at one to one so I get lower carbs. And that will, in the, the version that has the, the honey syrup, that will give about 13 grams of carbs in that drink. But with the substitute, it'll be zero. So we'll do these, we'll taste them, we'll look at the, the difference in taste, and then um, see what at least I think. And then if you, need lower carbs, you can uh, get a hold of some of this. If you don't, just use honey because it tastes, the gold rush is a very good drink. It tastes really great. So the first thing we do is put some ice. So put some ice in a shaker. 
So the first thing is two ounces of bourbon. We will try the Buffalo Trace first. Three quarters lemon juice, best to use fresh squeezed, but it's quicker, easier to use the bottled stuff, and so that's what I usually do. But it's undeniable that it does taste better if you use fresh squeezed. So three quarters of a cup. Third, three quarters of an ounce, sorry about that. And then the honey syrup, three quarters of an ounce. I just made this. I just got the honey from my neighbor. Thank you for uh, providing that to me. And that's all that goes in that. It's a very simple drink to make. And then strain that over some fresh ice. And normally you would uh, garnish this with a lemon peel, but since I use lemon juice, I don't have the peel. So that will be the one with Buffalo Trace. The old Forester will, I'm not even going to bother um, cleaning, out, cleaning this out because it's the same drink. Same ingredients, but this time with a little bit higher proof and a less sweet tasting bourbon. Then we have three quarters lemon juice, three quarters honey syrup. Shake that to chill. Another glass. And often I just dump the, the ice from what I shook. Uh, but What I want to do is I want to <clears throat> try these and just and determine which one I like best, and then I'll use that bourbon in the one with the uh, artificial honey. Good taste. I'm not sure that I'm going to see much difference between these, but we'll see. So depending on what you want, that this this has a stronger bourbon taste. This is a much much lighter bourbon taste. So I don't know. Definitely a, a heavier bourbon taste. I think for for this though, I'm going to go with the. Buffalo Trace, um, so that I can really tell the difference between the, the different uh, the honey substitute and the and, and actual honey syrup. So a little bit more ice in here. Two ounces of bourbon.
three quarters ounce of lemon juice. Almost, almost all of the juice. This, now this comes from Skinny Syrups. It's a honey cinnamon syrup. So you do have a little bit of a, a cinnamon taste in it. <clears throat> but um, I've used this in other things and it does taste pretty good. I think actually that cinnamon in there will go good with the bourbon because bourbon can often have a cinnamon taste to it. So, I think I have everything in there. Shake that. Strain. This, again, was with the Buffalo Trace. <clears throat> There's not, uh, not much difference at all. It tastes very, very similar. <clears throat> It does have that bit of cinnamon taste in it you can you can pick up <clears throat> but you'd hand this to some these two to somebody and I don't know that they would really know much difference it's almost exactly the same now zero carbs in this uh, zero calories zero sugar zero carbs don't know how they make it, don't know how they make it taste like honey, but it's really, really good alternative to using honey syrup. Again, if I make honey syrup, it's always um, a one-to-one -one mixture. A lot of people will go as much as two-to-one on their honey syrups to give an even heavier honey taste. But when you're talking about... Um, 17.4 grams of carbs per tablespoon, which means for for each ounce, it's twice that um, for the honey. So basically half honey, half water, that ends up being per ounce, 17.4 per ounce is what you get. That's a fair amount of carbs. And we can get down to zero and get almost exactly the same taste. So that's what I like to do, uh, still have the honey syrup for times that I want to actually make something for somebody else that uh, has actual honey in it. So that's what we've done this week. <clears throat> we've shown the difference between using honey syrup and, and this uh, substitute. It's a really good substitute for honey, or honey syrup at least. Something I think that you'll enjoy. I suggest you go and look this up online and, and get a bottle of this if you're uh, if you're trying to have lower carbs in your cocktails. If you don't care about your carbs, local honey. Get it from a neighbor, get it from uh, a uh, vendor, uh, but local honey is the best. That, that actually helps you with, um, with uh, any allergies you have because it, it gives you, you know, it helps, helps you to build those uh, resistances so it's best to use local honey and it tastes a thousand times better in my view than the stuff you get in the store because they add preservative to that so that's what I got for you today again hopefully you, you uh, find uh, this beneficial um, let me know what you think um, I know yes using the um, lemon juice out of a bottle is not as good it's uh, going to taste better if it's fresh squeezed, but you know, I, I do what I do uh, to get things done quickly rather than spending a lot of time on, on some of this stuff, and it's much much simpler to have the bottles. Uh, but um, if that's something that you think is sacrilege, you can put it in the comments. 
I'm not going to do anything different because that's the way I do it. But um, uh, definitely let me know what things you'd like to see on this channel, what things um, you'd like to see me do different, or, or things that you think I do well, things you think I do poorly, um, so we can improve this and uh, help to get this out to as many people as possible. So please like and subscribe to help get those numbers up so that uh, more people will see this and uh, share it with your friends. Uh, I, I'd like to know that uh, as many people as possible enjoy these videos. Thank you and see you next week.